Hello, Miss Bailey. Hi. Hello, my darling. Oh, lovely to see you. I feel so like zen sitting. Down. We're both on the floor. Yes. This is and oh, and uh, we're gonna do some stretching and body movement and chit chat at the same time. So <laughs> spill the tea. Um, so. I'm going to follow your lead, and if anyone else uh, is listening, you can also watch this podcast on YouTube, and you can follow along with us just to move your body a little bit today in case you haven't done it, um, which I've been really bad. I've been not feeling great uh, the past couple of days, and yesterday was the first time, which I was happy about, where I, but I, I was like, oh my gosh, I think my body is telling me that I need to move it. Yeah, I'll go through like parts where I'm like, yes, okay, like working out, stretching every day. And then I'll feel really good. And then it'll, like, you know, it's this new normal. And you have a good day, a bad day, it's not a bad day. And then I, like, won't work out or stretch for, like, a few days. And then, you know, when you're kind of just, like, really stiff, you're not moving a lot, you're not getting out, and you feel like just everything's really tight. And yeah. Rest. So. Especially this- if you're, like, bedridden with anxiety or depression. Yeah. And, you, like, you just, you, you don't think about moving your body or consuming food or drinking water. So if this is a motivation for you or a reminder for you to get up and do that, then do it with us because Bailey's going to help me out today, (laughs) moving my body. Not a yoga teacher. No. But like, we're going to do some cow pal stretching today. Yes. So I'll just, I'll just think of that but I think we should, okay, so we'll start like this. I'm going to say, let's start with a butterfly position. So we're going to stretch our hamstrings and like get our legs nice and long. And so like the closer you can get it to your pelvis and like the further your leg down, but it's more important to like keep your legs as flat as possible rather than trying to bring them in. So even if they're all the way out here, I would rather that than you trying to bring them in, but just nice. And then keep your back straight. And I feel like we'll just start and like just some shoulder movements and like just we always we're gonna start from the top we're gonna work our way down it's gonna be is this how you you like to do it because you're very you you're do you miss mountain climbing by the way yeah yeah everyone like had asked that so I love to mountaineer and go hiking and stuff and so oh I'm gonna do this I love the neck maybe it's not good to crack it but I love it Um, yeah everyone would ask like anyone that knows that I like to to mountaineer and they're like were you gonna climb anything this year like are you and I was like well not right now and now it's like you know it's it's pretty expensive so I'm like well things are on hold because you know I gotta pay rent that's my my yeah. focus right now um I'm gonna cross my legs again but I don't think you feel like this but. so I actually had a plan to do some climbing out in Vermont with a friend we were gonna do it like back in April and obviously that would have been the worst time and I had a plan to go to Australia over the holidays so we'll do this back one yeah and I was gonna do Mount Kosciuszko down in Australia but now just because of you know cost and everything I think this holiday it'll be prioritized to go home and see my family so not doing any of that so no no big climbs but to compromise because you know, work is slower, and I'm in New York right now, and I'm keeping myself based here for the moment. Um, just upstate New York in the Catskills, there's like all, there's a ton of like really great hiking out there. So I'm actually renting an Airbnb. Um, we'll do this. Just in the, so I'm renting an Airbnb upstate for the month of September. So I'll be up there hiking all month. So I'm gonna get my fix. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we, I was talking with a friend earlier about just how. Um, this is kind of, it's, it's, it was, this this year has been a loss. We've lost a lot of time, but it's almost been, no, it definitely has been an unnecessary loss, a necessary loss. Um, but yeah, we were just kind of like reflecting on the people who had to change weddings or like miss time with their loved ones that they normally would have had. And, um, and yeah, probably like pursuing passions, like you just said, your interests. Warm up our room. Do. this is what one of my yoga instructors taught me was good for like especially when you're practicing like 
um, handstands or anything that puts a lot of pressure like on your wrists and stuff. Um, so we'll just do some like little things, but like we'll start. So you kind of want to maybe do like hands and knees and we're just going to go like forward and like put some pressure on it. And then you can like rotate a little bit in a circle. Now I have a kitty who is taking up the entire yoga mat right now. And you got a cat too, right? We we fostered a cat for a little bit. Oh, you were fostering. We took her, yeah, we took her back to the foster just because our schedules during normal life kind of don't really allow for us to have a, a cat and like be the, you know, be the parents that we want to be for it. So, and then you'll turn your wrist back and then you'll go slowly and you're going to kneel back and just let that beautiful, oh my God, stretch. Wow, this is, this is definitely a different stretch. Nice. But yeah, it's definitely, um, the time is weird. I think like I'm trying to be the most optimistic about it as I can. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Aww. She's like, I'm not going anywhere. This is mine. So funny, look at those little eyes. And also put your hands down like this, so it's like the top of so down. Um, oh. Like, optimistic it's like we've lost time in the sense of like our normalcy but it's it's not really lost time it's just displays time like we've gotten it back in another way where it's like yeah. especially for me and I know for you too like we live and we'll rotate we live very busy you know like hustle kind of lifestyles and so for me it's been nice learn to find like happiness and purpose um like in a slower kind of time and like just learn how to like slow down and be like you know you don't have to finish everything in a day uh which is kind of nice so it is. Like, it's definitely not what I'm used to so it's an investment for me because I like I like a really fast-paced lifestyle but you know you have to find the good in everything so yeah we like and then we'll just go like this. We'll do some. Oh, that feels so good after all those exercises. <laughs> yeah. See, I learned. I like to pick up a few things. You know? <laughs> I pick up a few things here and there. <laughs> this is the move. This is the highlight. <laughs> <laughs> this is the highlight. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna end that here. And thank you for for yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right, and then maybe we'll do some stretching. So we're gonna get four toes. So we're just gonna like. Point them forward and like flex them back. I always love this one. I just think it feels so good on your calves. I always do this before bed, which I love because I feel like especially wearing heels. Uh -huh. Wearing heels all the time too, like it shortens your quads and your calves. Your feet are like just forced into like this really horrible, unnatural position. So it's like then they kind of get to be free. But yeah, I love like, we'll do um, our happy baby pose too in a second too, because that's so nice, like for your hips. And Every time I get into that pose, I just like let out, like I just like make loud noises. <laughs> because they say like, you know, everything, there's a huge movement towards intuitive, intuitive eating, intuitive movement, yeah. intuitive just like verbal, whatever. So whenever I get in my pose with Nick, I'm always like, <laughs> he freaking hates it. Stupid video on Instagram that I saved like probably years ago. We'll go up and we're gonna stretch for our pose while I save it. But um, all the way, and then we'll reach towards our cozies and see if you can how far you can go. Oh, I've actually gotten really good at this because early in quarantine, because I have um, like I injured my back a couple years ago and my knee. So everything my lower half was kind of tight, but in quarantine for two months, I stretched nice. and, and, and I got myself, I worked myself up where I can grab like all the way down my toes. Yeah. yeah very proud of myself for this. Blocks or just like anything really, even like a pillow and then learn to like reach beyond your toes too, or just like even try to do this. And now like what I'm really trying to do is when I stretch is like, see how straight I can keep my back instead of because I'm really bad especially because I'm tall and so are you like hunching over but like trying to stretch forward and keep things as straight as possible and then like 
get down as low as I can. Like I can touch my nose down, but I know I'm like really, really hunching. So I'm trying to do it as like straight as possible. No, you can go so far. Impressive. We've gotten there. I mean, the yoga helps a lot. And uh, the gym I used to go to when it was open, I had a yoga teacher there and she was It got me so flexible. It was, <laughs> um, all right, so now we're going to cross. We're going to do our sultry, our sultry poses. So you're going to cross one leg over. Then you're going to take your opposite arm. You're going to reach all the way up. And then you're going to take your elbow and you're going to hook it. Oh, that's really tight. It's cramping. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. And we're going to do, yeah, you know, you can show everyone. <laughs> Everyone can refer to me. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I just went in pain over here. I'm just <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just going to stretch the back. I remember doing this playing volleyball growing up. Before playing, practicing, we always do this stretch. I mean, I love stretching. It's so good. Yeah, it is really good for you. Helps. And then every second one side is going to stretch on the other and like release it. So then you'll turn and just kind of like let your back out again because you're just putting in a lot of stretch. Stress. I'm going to put that leg down. And then we'll bring the other leg out. This is my yoga voice. <laughs> and then we'll cross the other leg. And then we're going to reach all the way up with your opposite arm. So I'm crossing my left. Over my right leg, and I'm gonna hug it. That would be me if I was Siri. <laughs> oh, I can feel that. Oh my gosh. Oh, but it feels good. But all around me. Do you miss going to the gym? Yeah. Yeah. Same. The last time I'm going to open. I miss. I've I've gotten into a good routine finally, and I'm. Just turn the other side, just like the other side. But yeah, I mean, I've gone into good routine. I do some morning workouts with a couple of friends, and I've started running, which is weird for me. So now I don't know if I told you, I'm training for a half marathon because I needed the cardio. I was like, I'm doing squats and really bad push-ups and burpees and all that stuff, and I have weights. But I was like, I'm not like I usually walk so much, and I'm on the subways and I'm on set all day. And we're running around the city and I'm going to the gym. I'm on a treadmill or a stair climber. And now I'm not. And I think that's where I really noticed. I also just like ate horribly the first month and I gained weight. <laughs> that was oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we were talking about it too. I'm like, remember what we were eating the first month of quarantine? He's like, oh, yeah, it was just so. Because for anyone who doesn't know, my mom forced me to go quarantine shopping. She's like, you have to get everything in case, like, this stores close and it turns into total anarchy. Um, and we're going to try to over our legs while we do this. So, like, really careful. Um, I think it's important to keep, like, your back straight. Again, like, not hunched over because that's not the point. But just, like, try to keep it straight and, like, lean in to, I guess, said groin and just like tiny little hand movements forward. But yeah, my mom forced me and it was great because I was like, all right, if, uh, if shit's getting real, I'm getting the good stuff. And I'm getting the stuff that I refuse to buy under normal circumstances. Oreos, I know Oreos was one of them. Two bags of Oreos, like the big ones. I got two boxes of uh, craft dinner um, and I went through all of it in the first month. And I was like, um, and like I have no self control. Like if there's yummy food in the house, I'm obviously gonna pick that before my vegetables. Like come on, I'm only human. And so yeah, I ate all that stuff. And then at the end of the month, I was like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were the same. Yeah, but now now it's a good routine. And now I'm back to just like my normal eating habits or treating yourself. But every day it's it's just. Like That's like, that's where it gets you, because it's like, especially, you, like, you're not doing anything, so you're like, I could watch four movies in a day, and then, when you, you know, when you're, like, watching TV, and it's like that mindless eating, like, you don't know if you're full or not, but you're just eating it, because it's there, 
I think that's where it was like a really like dangerous slippery slope. yeah it's all coping it was I think we were all just coping at that point yeah. like, and, um, and then for those of us who are like out of work you're kind of like enjoying it and I'm like I've never had this much time off I've never spent this much time at home I've never sat on my couch as much as I have <laughs> um, which is great I think we'll maybe do some rolls I like these just to like roll out the back yeah you're just gonna like go like this. Yeah. Okay, so you can like put your arms here too, or like wherever you like. But just give your back like a nice little massage. I have like a burnt back right now and it's feeling. I know it's really sexy. So like this is like a little stress for my back and I really like it. <laughs> so you wanna do like a little ab workout with me? I know, my little, my cat is being great help right now. Yeah. He has to follow me everywhere, so. We're going to try to do like, um, I guess it's called like a V up. So like, if you can keep your knees straight or your legs straight like this and your whole body's kind of like a V if you want, if you need something easier, sometimes I do this like that. But we'll try this and then you're going to kind of go down and like up. Okay, girl, that's so hard. <laughs> Kind of hard for. Let's go. <laughs> this tur this turns into like a, from a really nice just stretching session to suddenly a boot camp for Karen's. <laughs> I feel I feel ambushed. Tightest <laughs> <laughs> push up bra for this. All right, fine. We're done with that. Okay, now we're gonna do something happy. A hit workout. You know happy. Oh workout. yes. This is my favorite, favorite. Start like leg strength. I was like that. I love to like stretch. And what out. what do you call this? Happy baby. So you grab so you grab the outsides of your feet. Yeah. Kind of, oh no. And then you basically kind of like lightly pull your legs down <laughs> as much as you can. <laughs> A great view for everybody will fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pull it down as much as you can. And you just enjoy that stretch, like all kind of like down here. And like I feel it, um, I guess like in the inner thigh, which is really nice. And then sometimes like if you want to go more advanced, then like you keep your legs straight. And you could really like just, just let them go. <laughs> and then my yoga teacher will try to just bump all of us and she'll like, just yeah. put her like legs behind her head. And she's like, yeah, you can do that. We're all just like, can we though? Like, but I, I recommend this, this one stretch. Like if you don't do anything today, just try this pose. It is so wonderful, especially um, like if, if you're concerned about pelvic floor exercises and exercising your pelvic floor, uh, this, is, this is the one to do it. It's just so magical. I want to do... Um... For me too, like like stretching it is like I think a really big thing for me. And I think like the thing we take advantage of the most, especially when we're young and we feel like we're invincible, is our lower back. Mm -hmm. Just at least lifting with our legs. Um, and uh, especially for people, I was talking to my roommate who's a doctor, and like um, he works like twelve hour shifts and been standing for twelve hours, like constant walking around, and that puts like a lot of pressure on your lower back. Um, and just do like a couple of stretches to, uh, to do that, to, 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 and, uh, cause I love, yeah, lower back stretches and things to help with. I have very tight hips. So those two areas are my favorite to keep <laughs> limber. <laughs> nobody watched this video. <laughs> what? I said, nobody watched this video. No. <laughs> that I like. We'll do another quick one for your pelvic floor and for your hips, I believe. And it is the frog pose. I love oh, yeah. it. This is my second favorite. <laughs> it's very sexy. Um, so yeah, you're kind of just like spread your legs apart. And you're basically like, if you're really advanced, you can go all the way down and almost do like front splits, but like I cannot do that. And so you're kind of like this hands and knees, and then you're slowly just going to like push your butt back. Yeah. 
down and you should be able to feel it like all in here. I love this one for tight hips. Oh yeah, I could feel it. I have tight hips too. I feel like everyone must. Like who's really stretching that all the time? Dancers, there we go. <laughs> Especially after the past couple months, like it's okay. Don't, don't ever, um, for anyone listening, like hate yourself for what you ate over quarantine or your lack of motivation or movement. Like for the past couple of months, we have all just been doing the best that we can every day. And we've been in survival, whether it's for mental health reasons. So, you know, don't put too much pressure on yourself to get right back into a hundred percent. Just every now and then, every day, do something different, drink more water, eat better food, um, do some more exercising, do some more stretching, just baby steps. It's like, honestly, I say to everyone, I'm like, it's just one day at a time right now. Cause yeah. the way the world is, like we said, like, oh, we should do some cat cow while we talk. Um, every breath. But uh, yeah, it's just one day at a time. We don't know what the world is going to look like and what the future holds and how the holidays are going to be or if everything's going to be normal the second January 1st, 2021 comes along. So it's, it's not about thinking too much about the future right now. It's just kind of like, okay, what am I doing today? What am I doing tomorrow? Yeah. And what's something that I can do for myself today? Also, what I like is like kind of going side to side a little bit. And then if you do like, I like to call it around the world cat count. So like, <laughs> if you had a mating call and you're an animal, I would probably do this. This would be my move. You, you heard it here first, everyone, the around the world cat cow. <laughs> I can't wait for the screen. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I like this one for your lower back. Um, you don't need a wall. If you have a wall, you can use it. Like you can put your, I think I can show you now. Yeah. So you can put your leg up like that, but I'll just do it with the wall right now. I feel like it. So you're going to grab one leg. You're gonna kind of have it back a little bit from the other one. So it's kind of like your dancer's pose, like as if you were standing up and you're grabbing your leg like that. But this might give you a little more stability since uh, both of your legs are on the ground. And it's just kind of stretching like all up here. And then it like, I think it releases a lot of tension, like kind of lower back. Is what I read on a few things. I don't know how accurate that is, don't quote me. But it feels nice. Don't at me. Don't at me, okay? <laughs> like, this is definitely my favorite stretch, like before I run too. I think if I don't do like the dancer's pose stretch, I definitely regret it later. I definitely like it. <sighs> so what's your favorite thing that you've been doing to kind of help get through your day to day? Give me your secrets. You're like, oh God. <laughs> I don't have any secrets. I'm like, not that I, I do try to practice what I preach, but it's not 24 7, 365. Uh -oh. This one's great for the heels. Mine tighten up so much all the time. Do you really like cramps in your feet? Yeah. Yeah. So you just, you're going to sit on your toes like this. And if you can go back, two. Okay. Just let those toes stretch, man. Yeah, honey. <laughs> That's a good one. Ooh. It hurts. <laughs> this is the worst. No pain, no gain. Even for stretching. Yeah. Should we do a camel pose? Do you want to do a camel pose? Sure. All right, careful. Okay, so. For your back, we're gonna be really, really careful. So it's like if you do a rag doll, someone was like pulling on the top of your head. So you're not gonna use your lower back. So we're we're going back down like this, right? My idea is that we're gonna grab our toes, but like you want I wanna turn myself up a little. You wanna act like someone's pulling the string and like 
curving you all the way back like that so you're leading with your head and you're not leading with your back and just like letting it fall and collapse so it's going to tie your neck right back so we're going to go down and i think it's really good to like hold your back so kind of like where your tailbone is and you can sit down until you're ready to put your hands down and then leave with your head you're going to go back 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 and then you slowly go down and if you have the flexibility you can grab your heels or the floor and you just breathe and we'll hold it. And then when you want to come back up, you're going to do the same thing in reverse. You're going to lead with your head and not pull with your back. And you're going to put your hands on your lower back again and lead all the way back up. Woo! So get back stretch. I'm ready. Woo! Did you hear my voice change? Because I feel like I like crushed my lungs in there. <laughs> I just turned like 45 years old. Ah, that felt so nice. How often do you try and stretch? Well, I always stretch like before I run and after I run. I don't know what the rule is science, but I like to stretch before because it feels like a nice warm up. I always do like a good little speed walk too before I run just to like get everything warmed up. So I feel like if you just jump into the workout, you're just like gonna shock yourself. Yeah. Always run after I run because you don't again you don't want the muscles to tighten so quickly. So it's like you stretch and you let them relax. And I feel like if I stretch after too it reduces the risk of like cramping or um reduces the risk of being sore the next day. So I think like that's, and then if I do yoga, that's just like an hour, which is always nice. But I just think like, because, because like I hike so much too, and with mountaineering, we like, it was so ingrained the importance of stretching because we're walking for like 14, 12 hours a day with like huge weights on our back. And if you don't stretch, you're just absolutely just gonna like, just crumple up into a little stress ball and like not be able to do anything. So stretching during like a climb or an expedition is really, really important. So I think that was something that just became like normal to me. Um, especially because for some reason my feet and my hips are always tight and they cramp up so easily. So honestly, sometimes if I'm walking and there's like a little ledge, you know, and you just kind of like push your foot up against the ledge. Yeah. Your a lot um or like stretch my feet and like I said I love to stretch right before bed it just feels nice it feels like it's just a little like a good night a good night kiss yeah like yesterday I actually felt restless like I couldn't I couldn't sit down on my computer and type an email I couldn't sit down and go on my phone I just my body was telling me that you have to move I think, I think like if you can get outside and not anyone at risk or you know not so much contact tracing I think that's the best I feel so much I just feel normal too like when I can get outside even if it's just like I run to the post office or I go grab a piece of groceries or whatever I'm not like going on a huge walk or like seeing a friend or anything it's so nice just to get outside and just to like feel yesterday was the best weather oh my gosh yeah it was nice in New York it was like the weather that like you could fly to. So nice. You know those weathers? Like, <laughs> where was going? But it was, it, I didn't have to do anything. I think I just, oh, I ran to go get um, some popcorn. Yeah, so I was watching TV. And I was like, I need popcorn. So <laughs> that's where the day was going. And I went outside and I was like, oh my gosh. So like, the sun is out, but it's not like beating down on you where you just feel like you're already sweating. And the, there was like a nice light breeze. It was just like so warm. It was like having like a fresh blanket out of the dryer. And it just felt like, like a warm hug. And I was like, wow, this is so nice. And I got my popcorn and I put it upstairs and I came back outside and I went for like a 45 minute walk. So I was like, I cannot miss this weather right now. Like this would be just absolutely asinine to like skip out on this day. And it was, uh, it was so beautiful. It was at like four o'clock. So it was like, when you get that like golden hour light and, uh, and it felt so much better and then I like 
And then it seemed like more appropriate to be watching a movie instead of watching a movie at like three, four. Or five. <laughs> no, but I think that's also like super important. Um, you know, if, if, because a lot of us, I talked about having spoons and the spoon theory on my Instagram recently. So if you still don't know what the spoon theory is, please check that out. But a lot of us don't have spoons to, um, to sit down and do a stretch. Like I'm very aware of that. I'm, I'm, I'm recognizing everyone out there who feels this way. Um, and again, I would never want you to feel bad that you can't do this one thing for yourself. But I think that's a great tool is sometimes even going outside stretching your leg on a ledge on the sidewalk, taking in the beautiful day, taking in the fresh air and acknowledging just how wonderful it is outside. That can be a great um, little exercise for you to do. You know? I think that's too much. I have a roommate, which he's, he's working. And like bless us all, he's an essential worker, so we love him and we appreciate everything he's doing. Um, but like, so a lot of times, like, I have the apartment to myself, and before he moved in, I spent two and a half months doing the quarantine all by myself. So it was, it was definitely like it got lonely. So going outside, just like walking around with people, making eye contact with the stranger through your mask, they're like, this is nice. They're like, you know, you buy something at the grocery store and you talk to the cashier. Um, just like the little senses of normalcy that you can get because I'm definitely a big people person so spending all that time by myself as good as I am on my own I'm very I think I do love my alone time I think it's like just really important psychologically to like have that interaction with people because as nice as it is to like zoom and facetime and connect with people it's not the same absolutely I think uh, it's reality. all about recognizing how you're feeling. And, you know, when you're in front of a screen the whole time, you kind of, you miss your body's little cues on what your body's trying to tell you. Um, so it's just about awareness, awareness and the little things, awareness and the little things. I also play piano a lot too. That was having a lot, but they gave me feel better. I can't repeat. I've been learning a couple new songs, writing a couple songs, so that's been really fun. It makes me also feel like I'm being productive when there's nothing immediate that I need to give my attention to. So that's nice. Because I've, I've had a lot of days where I just spent watching movies. <laughs> I actually just got through all the Fast and Furious movies. So. Oh my god. <laughs> well, how do you feel now? I feel so much better. My hips are down. Yeah. I feel good. I feel all good and loosey goosey. <laughs> My little. Yeah, no, like I'm gonna show that to Nick because he plays piano. I'm sure that you find that helps you with, with your piano playing. For sure. Now I'm like I'm ready to go. I can do like a whole chair now. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I feel like people like normal like at risk for frontal tunnel. Yes. It's all important. Like everything between like something is do not have a perfect hand. Oh, yeah. You're gonna work every little bit, hands and toes and legs. Yeah. Thank you so much for chit chatting with me. You know, as as we say in Newfoundland, thank you for chewing the fat. Just ha having a yarn. Oh, okay. Thank you for chewing the fat. Chewing oh. the fat, yeah. Thank you for chewing the fat. Chewing the fat. Um, and for stretching with me, because I think uh, this was just a great video to follow along with if you're interested or inclined and, you know, just a reminder to move your body. But Bailey, thank you so much uh, for joining me and I'll be sure to link all of your information in the description for people to find you and your, all of your adventures. Um, but 
stay safe in New York and uh, keep moving. And I can't wait to see and hear about your adventures with uh, the mountain in September. Miss you too. Bye, babe. Bye.